Yo, what is an SEO's favorite drink? It's Link Juice. <laughs> okay, that sounded much better in my head. Hey guys, this is Alex from Searchburg back again with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about link building strategies. Specifically, I'm gonna share three little known link building strategies that are super effective. And the best part, these strategies are all white hat and easy to implement if you know what you're doing. Make sure you stick around till the end because we've got a real game changer at number three. So let's dive right in. First on the list is link reclamation. Link reclamation is the process of finding broken links to your site and replacing them with updated URLs. This strategy may not be as aggressive as straight out link building, but it's a great way to get back lost link value. It also helps your site maintain a positive user experience. Imagine someone browsing through your blog and coming across broken links. Not great, right? Now, if you engage in link reclamation activities regularly, such instances will happen less frequently. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You can use this strategy to find backlinks that were given to your competitors' websites and offer replacement URLs of your own. So here's what you do. Simply run your competitor's domain on Allref's free broken link tool or any other broken link checker out there. Find out all incoming links to their websites. You can filter these out by quality of the websites that are linking out. The next step is to find out the content of the page that no longer exists. The page might have a redirect placed on it or it's simply been deleted. Either way, their loss is your gain. You can make this process a lot easier by using www.archive.org, also known as the Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine lets you see what was posted on a website before the dreaded 404 error. By pasting the URL of the broken link on the Wayback Machine, you can see what was originally there. Once you find out what kind of content the page had, it's only a matter of adding value and creating something better than what your competitors did to score that backlink. Also note, now that you have the chance, update the content to current standards as much as you can. Like in this example, I can see that this website was linking to a blog post by MarketWatch. The post doesn't exist on this link anymore. This is a godsend opportunity for a DR76 backlink because now I'm going to pitch this high authority website for a replacement blog. And this links perfectly with my next awesome link building strategy, creating linkable assets. There are various types of content pieces that can be used as linkable assets. Primary research and definitive guides work best because other blogs and websites are almost always on the lookout for this type of data. Case in point, Backlinko wrote a resource guide on the best free SEO tools and they pulled a bunch of backlinks from that post. Another great way to obtain backlinks is by creating or hosting free tools on your website. HubSpot created a free email signature tool that scored a ton of backlinks. Why does this work well? Well, because resource blogs create a link exchange system where you'll link to the brands you mentioned and they'll naturally link back to the original content. Similarly, video content, like the one you're watching, can be embedded in a blog, which does an excellent job of pulling links. Roundup posts, where you'll find titles such as the 10 best restaurants in California, not only pull links from the restaurants themselves, but the fans of these restaurants as well. For a lot of my clients, I've found that infographics are the best linkable assets. For others, video content is more attractive. Research within your niche to find out the best type of linkable asset you can create. The best part? Linkable assets are link magnets, and you don't have to spend too much time or money promoting them. If you've made it this far and have found the content of this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more SEO and digital marketing awesomeness. Now on to strategy number three, Haro link building. Last but not least is my favorite little known link building strategy. You may have heard of the website Help a Reporter Out, also known as Haro. 
This is an excellent place for journalists to find sources and citations for their articles. Now there's two ways in which you can use Haro to boost your blog and SEO efforts. One, registering as a journalist. Two, registering as a source. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be focusing on the source part of Haro. Pretty often, journalists and bloggers ask questions in order to gain industry insights for a number of niches. You can answer the ones relevant to you and possibly get selected to feature in that corresponding blog or article along with a link to your website. There are tons of categories you can choose from, so don't be a link hog and stick to the ones you have experience in. Long story short, answering these questions will most probably earn you a backlink. A great way to ensure that you're responding to only authoritative websites is by running the URL of the publisher on RFs beforehand. This tells me which websites have high authority and are worth my time. Make sure to share all the necessary information with your answer, such as 1. Your name, 2. Link to your headshot, and 3. Link to where you want to be accredited. The best part about Haro is that you aren't stuck on answering a fixed number of questions. Keep answering to have your inbox full of potential link building options. So choose wisely and try to answer the questions instead of writing long form articles. This is just one of the responses I got from my pitch on Haro. As you can see, guest blogging worked pretty well for Mr. Ollie. Guys, don't underestimate the potential of this strategy. We got so many free backlinks while trying to hit our target of 30 DA50 plus links for our client. How? Well, we promised our client DA50 plus links. And although it took a little while to get there, along the way we acquired some mentions from sites that were below the required DA. Well, we weren't going to waste those, right? So our client got some free link juice. So that wraps up our video for little known link building strategies. Try these out and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions regarding the strategies and their execution, let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest SEO and digital marketing content. Until next time, this is Alex from Searchburg, signing off.